Well, hello, hello, y'all. It's Latka. Here, we're returning to Victoria 3, where instead of crashing a market, we're trying to make it good. Uh, wild, I know. Something I'm not familiar with. But, hey, we're making some headway, you know? We're making some headway. But without further ado, let's just get into it, huh? Let's let's go. We went from plus 11 to negative 184. Nice. I like it. Um, iron, super expensive. 59.8 a piece. Ouch. But hey, guess what? We're working on some iron mines right now. And I've got some authority. So what? Zero percent. Zero percent. Look at that. We're going to... What if I do this? What if I get rid of it? What happens? They get angry. They get angry. And they get angry. Engines of progress. Job creators. But it's at zero percent, you know? Like, I'm getting rid of it. Um, yeah, industrialists, everyone's angry, a bunch of stuff, yeah, okay, oh well, really, you got so mad you did that, huh? Um, that's really unfortunate. I need to... Hmm. But what we can do is try to enact something that gets them out of that uh, negative. So let's see. Dimensional censorship. Right of assembly. Trade unions like it. Everyone else hates it. Propertyed woman. Women, excuse me, not woman. Uh, everyone hates that. I'm just not powerful enough in my economy to, like, change things for good, you know? Um, local police? Everyone likes this but landowners. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Trade unions don't really care. And they were kind of the one I was hoping to get. Oh well. <laughs> so we need... What's the population in here? Low? No, I need people moving here. Greener grass, please. Greener grass. I want people moving here. Greener grass everywhere. Now, I have a little confession to make. I've recorded some of this, and then my uh, OBS crashed. So I had the video, but I don't have any audio at all. And um, not even game audio, like, it just wiped it all. So I have a little foresight of what goes on in the future. But, like... Oh, I was so angry. <laughs> You know, it was, a, it was a good 45 minutes of unseen stuff, like crazy things happening, and then, man, you know, you lose a recording or two here and there, and it's just, it's so frustrating. But we're going to get this iron mine taken care of. Politics, government, the trade unions. Let's look at them again. We want laws... Landed voting is what they wanted. Yeah. Unhappy trade unions. Oh well. This should pop back up with the completion of the iron mines. And then we'll have some choices to do on like an expanding our tooling workshop also this is actually better uh because iron is so expensive 
that it is much cheaper to import steel than it is to import iron. So, and even with the iron mines, uh, it's still cheaper to use steel because steel makes more tools and you sell out more tools, right? So, with tools being expensive and iron being expensive, you just kind of like go with steel right away. So, that's what we'll be doing once we get this iron mine up and running. And we are actually going to cancel something somewhere. Social mobility. Oops, excuse me. Agriculture, no. I think we should be good, I'm not sure. Uh, I was having problems having people getting employed in the mines. So, yeah. We'll build these coal mines as well. But it was hiring, but it stood at like 500 for a very long time. So we're going to pop in that uh, greener grass campaign right there, right now. See if we can't get can't get somewhere uh, that's good. But we'll build that coal mine. We... Hey! Some more gold fields. Gold has been discovered in Northern Cape. Okay, spread the word. Um... Mine, it's all mine. Gives it increased migration and... Good throw put, but we don't have the infrastructure to support it. So, eh, you know? Need to get rid of something. Um... We will get rid of the agricultural right there. And unfortunately, like that extra gold field, um, I really, really need railroads. So we're going to research railroads. What are we doing right now? Nitroglycerin? Nice. Um, but we need to go get the atmospheric engine railways. Okay, thank you. So once we're done with nitroglycerin, it's the atmospheric engine. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. It didn't happen last game or the last session. So we'll find out if uh, things change. There's a little hint I got into a war that I wasn't expecting. It was pretty crazy. It was my very first taste of combat in the game. So it was just very sad, you know? This is also very sad. I have lost more authority because church is no longer powerful. They lost, uh, they lost clout, and now that is no longer as powerful. So, get rid of that. Keep it going. But hey, we hit that 1.5 million GDP. Things are looking good. Our average standard of living is 12.9, which is still impoverished. Uh, but hey, it's going up. It's not getting down, you know? Not going down, not getting down. Um, what else could I make? 
Can I expand that? Yeah, I could, but I don't have enough qualifications there. Still, we'll expand it anyway. See if we can't. We are operating at a pretty nice boost, and I could raise taxes. What's my construction investment pool? Almost 30k? Rain. T is 376 for 75. T levels 15 to 99 luxury drink needs we're not taxing tea my dude do you remember the last time a British guy taxed tea I do I do um well yeah we're pumped up there. This is unfortunate. Like, it's really good that I got more gold fields. Don't get me wrong. That's really, really good. But, like, it happening right now. Everyone's moving here. That's fine. These buildings will eventually fill up. Uh, it's just... <laughs> I just... Oh, man. You know? Because there's no reason to work at the iron mine over the gold fields. Okay, so... We want atmospheric engine to railways. Because we already have mechanical tools. That was from bleed over earlier in the game. Okay. Well... Oh. Input goods, iron shortage. Yeah. I'm aware. I'm aware. Yeah. There's no reason to work at the iron mines over gold. And I can't blame them. And I, the gold fields are going to bring me more money no matter what. But still, you know. We'll eventually get people in there, but it's still just pretty rough for the iron mines, at least. Buildings, please. I could switch to nitroglycerin, which uh, wouldn't give would give me more money. Um, but here's the deal: when you switch it over, you get mortality rates. <laughs> So I'll be killing the people who do get to work there, you know? And that's not good. That's not good at all. So, yeah. Lots of research coming down. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice indeed. Central logistics and central baking is spreading as well as crystal glass. It would be nice to have a glass. Glass works, yeah? Eh. Wouldn't give us much money. Well, wouldn't give us positive money. Nothing does right now. That's okay. We might actually build a construction sector after I get this tooling workshop done. Uh, we'll we'll see though we'll see. Let's pop this up to five. Got some weeks left on the coal mine. Needs laborers, huh? Yeah. So does my mine. Maybe I need to. Brutal.
Yeah, 54. I need that railway. I need that railway right now. Okay, our coal mine's up and running. That's good. Now we'll get this running and nitroglycerin, maybe. Once we get that atmosphere pump, that'll be really good for us. T. But we're expanding this. That should give us some pretty good money. We do eventually want that water boiler. See, like the ro rotary and water, they both use coal. So, we're going to do that. And then eventually oil and electricity, but like, that's way down the line. That's way down the line. So, that's kind of the idea. Is we're going to get our tools up and running, make sure our gold is coming through, and we're going to want to colonize most of this um, I think, uh, yeah, so, information, right? I'm pretty sure these two nations right here are the only actual nation states. Well, these three. Um, and the rest of this is just unfortunately places to colonize who died oh no a mine in northern cape has collapsed trapping miners within the dark shafts below the scale of the accident has made the tragedy a story across northern cape and the nation they dug me out but they left my friend behind i hope wherever he's gone it's better than here uh more radicalization more radicalization. Everyone gets radicalized. It just... I get a small bonus with... Someone. Industrialist? Not too bad. I'd get an extra... Perk. Wouldn't get an extra perk there. But they'd go positive. Uh, we're going to go with industrialist. So that I get this perk right here. Yeah. And the, they will gain more power as a result as well. Tea bourgeoisie. The industrialists, because they have uh, pop migration to their political party. 61 weeks left. We're at 5 speed. Pretty good. We might upgrade our logging camps eventually. Let's check out our buildings. Soil enrichment. That's never going to change for the better. Or for the worse. Simple farming will always be worse than soil enriching. Intensive. Simple ranch would give me more money, huh? In Northern Cape? Ah, yeah, that makes sense. And butchering tools. Okay, we'll change that. Probably because... There's no one working there. <laughs> Everyone is going to the gold mines. I can't blame them. If someone was like, hey, you want to work in the gold mines? The gold fields, mind you. Not even mines. Like, we're panning gold out of rivers. Um, or do you want to go in, into a deep, dark iron mine? Uh, or feed or shovel uh, cow crap all day? And it's like, dude... Give me the gold, you know? Like, I can't blame them. Can't blame them at all. Glassworks. What's, uh, what's popping in the market right now? Iron and glass. Coal as well. Very cheap, brace price, very expensive. Yeah, iron, glass, and groceries. Diplomatic play. Great Britain begins mobilization against Cindy? Oh, the Sunnis. Okay. An emirate. 
They're over here somewhere. Yeah. Not entirely sure where, but the oh, right there. Yeah. I was like, dang, they got me mobilizing. Lawmakers working towards the enactment of dedicated police force have found themselves mired in a particularly complex set of bureaucratic proceedings, grinding the work towards reform to a near halt. Um... Wow, none of this is good. Uh, I'm going to take the enactment time and the chance of success lowering as well. That sucks. That's a pretty nasty little pop-up. Okay, okay. So... Our GDP is kind of stalled. It's kind of plateaued. You want a positive GP G... Oh my gosh. GDP. Don't want to see that thing going down. Gold rush. Migration. Buildings. Do we have people in here yet? Is this maxed out yet? No. War was declared. Oh, France joined in? Okay, that's funny. France, you're a funny guy. Uh, I don't care. I'm not helping out. That is going to knock on my economy, though. Especially if France starts, like, blockading the channel in here. Uh, that'll hurt my market because my market is the British market because I am a subject so we got 13 weeks left on there should go by fairly quickly it's going to be a long time before I get automatic irrigation Tools. What about you? Can I give you tools? Yeah. I can. You full yet? Not yet. Ammunition has fallen to the wayside. Okay, okay. Three weeks left on the tooling workshop upgrade population. It's growing, but we're not getting a lot of migration. They're all going to Northern Cape because of the gold. So, I don't think we can fully hire. We can get a lot of people, but I don't think we can fully hire. Yeah. I didn't believe those numbers either. <laughs> hey, we did. Nice. And we finally, we actually passed a law. You know? Only uh, seven years in and we finally passed a law. <laughs> to get dedicated police force. Nice. Nice. Minus five radicals from standard of living decreases and minus 15% state penalties from turmoil. Nice. So let us actually look at the politics. Autocracy, landed voting. Can hey, we got logistics. So let us try to get landed voting again. Or maybe... So this gives us authority and legitimacy. 
Authority, legitimacy, but not as much. I think what we want is landed voting. We'll try that again. We'll try to get landed voting. Enact closed borders? No! There's not enough people living in the dang countries to work, dude. And you want me to close the borders? I don't think so. Maybe university? Just to get my people qualified? But I don't know, dude. Is this fully... No. What's it missing? Laborers? Huh. We'll figure it out. I think if we do that... Ah, uh, I don't know. This, this Northern Cape is freaking out. Okay. So we got our tools. Now we need... We need something else. We need to build something else. Maybe the construction sector, even though... I don't know. Got 60k of investment pools. How much would this cost? Don't think... Yeah, I don't think that's the play just yet. Cotton, livestock, no. Maybe more wood? Or maybe a port here. Dang, dude. Little stumped on what to do from here. Because, like, what I need to do... Isn't going to be a... Shoot. Okay, so we got a level two tooling workshop. Steel mills require coal and iron, but my problem is I'm not producing any iron. Hey, crystal glass. Yeah. Thinking maybe steel mills, but then I'd have to import iron, and that's just not going to be good. Um, arms industry requires iron and hardwood. Again, iron. What about furniture? We could produce, like, luxury furniture. I'm getting fabric and wood. I do believe furniture is a good seventy-three. Mm. Glass would probably be better. Railways. Gosh dang it. Yeah, it is what it is. Do I need to subsidize this? I don't know, man. Why is your weekly balance that? Wow. 
Wages? Oh. Yeah, that'll have to balance out. Well, they, hey, there we go. That's really nice. That uh, pumps up our minting. Actually, central banking. That's a great, great, great technology. I highly recommend if you play Cape Colony to go for central banking fairly early. It's just uh, because of my gold rush here. Oh my gosh, so many menus, dude. Um, my infrastructure is out of control. So that needs to be fixed. Making quite a bit of money now, though. Cool. And we need to promote... Why don't we encourage the manufacturing? Give us more tools. Okay. What are logging camps? Can't even hire there. Yeah. Okay. I don't care about these fronts, dude. Stop showing it to me. Between me and Tahiti. Amazing. Truly, truly amazing. Stindies. Ah, yes. Surely war has consumed the world. Uh, but that's okay. We're just we're just chilling here in our Cape Colony, you know? Trying to get landed voting. Uh, it's not going well. <laughs> we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. I believe in us. I will need more bureaucracy at some point. Yeah, definitely. So we'll have to build a government administration somewhere but I won't have enough qualifications 13 aristocrats instead of 250 uh, it's brutal but I do have greener grass right greener grass and social mobility yeah literacy is at 46% our GDP is climbing again I think that's pretty good. We've done pretty good. Uh, I might end this fairly soon. Just because, like, honestly, I'm really nervous that the my recording crashes again and I lose that. Because I just don't have enough time in the day to record again. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Crooked Connections. So he wants us to use his personal connections within the state apparatus. Uh, we're going to take enactment time because I don't believe in corruption. Even if we did get uh, bonuses from the others. We're doing pretty good though. I think everyone's pretty happy with us. We got a bunch of bonuses. Everyone but the armed forces and they have a lot of clout. Unfortunately. But that is what that is. So once we get this furniture up and running, I think we'll call it. We'll call it good. And look at that. It's disgusting. I need those railways, man. Other people working with us? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Also, water to, water to boiler would be good for our mines and uh, tooling workshops. So that's probably what we'll do next. It's probably what we will do next. Oh, we annexed Tahiti. Nine people in our mines. Holy... Employed, 10 people in the fields. You're unemployed. Work in the mines or the ranches, dude. Come on. 
But look at that. Peasants and... Uh, 100k, yeah. Just keep moving there, please. Need more people there. Okay. In there? Good. I need people in these places so that I can build stuff in these places. <laughs> Humiliate France. Okay. 30 weeks left. Coal mine is up and running. Atmospheric engine. You can do that. Nitroglycerin. I believe we can allow a little mortality into our mines to get more coal going. Uh, I'm okay with that. And our gold reserves are shooting up. So we are, in fact, going to... Um, once this furniture manufactory is built, we're going, actually, here, let's raise, uh, wages again. So, that's not too bad. But we're going to build a construction sector. In here, and see what we can get out of it. You know, construction sectors really allow you to just... Build, build, build really quickly. It just costs a lot. And if you're not careful, man, you'll run yourself into the ground. I've done it twice. You know? It's really hard. A lowborn man is risen as a popular leader of the intelligentsia, with some not so pleased by such social mobility. At first, he was living with his poor widowed mother, then with his terrible uncle. Then they both died. It was said, and he became an orphan and fled the state. Then he was seen as a wine merchant, as young as he was, and some say he tried to become a lawman of some kind. Then he tried writing, from which he has been moderately successful, and now, now here you see it, leader of the intelligentsia, finally at peace. He has earned this job. Uh, I accidentally sped right through it and did not pick the option. I should have paused it. My bad. Uh, but we have 10 weeks left on here. I should have paused it. That was completely my fault. So we're going to build a construction sector. Or maybe we should upgrade our logging capacity before we do that. I feel like we upgrade our logging capacity. Four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah, I think we upgrade our logging capacity, build the construction sector, and then upgrade something. We'll find something to upgrade. <laughs> Name of the game, you know? Okay, so we're going to upgrade the logging camp. Wait, actually... Not enough qualifications. I have 58,000 peasants. Clerks. Tons of clerks and farmers. Shopkeepers. Arms industry right now is only good uh, because it's uh, at war. We're at war. What was really expensive in the market? These are all war goods. As soon as war ends, they're no longer going to be popular. Glass is really popular. So honestly, upgrade logging, build the construction sector, build the glass, I think is going to be the deal. Uh, no, because... Let's just build the glassworks. We'll just build the glassworks. So, yeah. Let's look at this before we call it. Opposition members put forth demands. More pragmatically inclined members of the trade unions, currently opposed to the passing of landed voting, have offered to change their stance were they to be offered certain political concessions. Wouldn't be popular with the landowners, though. 
Landowners would lose three? Wow, that's crazy. What are they at? They're at happy with six. Enactment success chance? Dude. Whatever. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. This is Laka. If you liked what you saw, if you liked what you heard, uh, please, please give me a like, give me a follow, uh, leave a comment on the video, you know, please do all of that. I love seeing all of that happen. <laughs> all right. And if you want to talk further, you know, I have a discord. There's a link to it in the description of the video. So yeah, looking forward to it. But anyway, this is Laka. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.